Thank you for joining us on uh, Nehanda TV. My next guest uh, has taken the United States by storm. He is a uh, comedian, Alfred Kainga, aka the Alley Cat. Alfred, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. How are you, Lance? Yeah, man. Uh, good things we are hearing coming out of the United States. Uh, you you got to spend uh, 45 minutes uh, with Kevin Hart, man. Well, what's up with that? Oh, uh, man, that was, uh, that was an experience that I will never forget. You know, uh, uh, Comedy Central teamed up with Kevin Hart. They were doing a, um, a show where he was going around the country in, uh, in each city. Uh, he picked actually eight cities out of the whole United States to find uh, three or four of the best comedians in each, in each city. And so uh, Kevin and his team, they, they were scouting for talent in Houston, Texas. But, you know, I don't live in Houston. I actually live in Dallas. So when they saw my stuff, uh, they said, you know, this guy is incredible. He's funny. We got to get him on, on the show. And they were told, well, but the guy lives in Dallas. And Kevin said, well, I got to make an exception. Bring him down to Houston. That's how funny this dude is. So, I, you know, it was just uh, an incredible uh, opportunity, incredible feeling, man, just to be recognized that way by, you know, one of the biggest, if not the biggest comedian right now in, in the world, you know. Mm, and, and you got to spend time with uh, Kevin Hart. Uh, how was that? Uh, it, it was cool, man. It was really dope. I mean, you know, I call Kevin right now. I got his number now. <laughs> no, but uh, Kevin is, is really humble, man. Uh, we, we talked for, for quite a while, you know. Uh, they only show a little bit on, on camera, but we were on, on set with him for a long time, just having a conversation about how I started my comedy career and, uh, you know, m my background, my history, and just sharing um, the journeys, you know, and you, you come find out, you know, the stuff that I've gone through, he's also gone through in, you know, in the comedy industry. When you start out and nobody knows you, you try to put shows together, and uh, just the struggles and, and realizing that, you know, if you keep you know, your head focused in your game, you know, you can realize some, some crazy success. And that's, that's just basically how that went about. You know, we're just talking very humble guy, but very talented at the same time. So it was, it was incredible to hang out with Kevin Hart. Mm. Uh, this program you're talking about, I, I take it that's uh, Heart of the City? Heart of the City, that's right, on Comedy Central. So, so those who want to get to watch it, uh, where, where, where do they uh, find this program? And what happens now um, after you know, what was filmed? Okay, well, um, it's on Comedy Central. Uh, so if you have uh, Comedy Central on your uh, cable supplier, you can, you can uh, find the show. Or you can actually go to ComedyCentral.com and uh, research uh, Heart of the City. And it's the Houston episode. You'll be able to see me in full effect. We're able to shoot a scene where we're sitting down with Kevin in a studio. Uh, talking about comedy, and then we pan to uh, you know to uh, uh, the the place where we did the performance. So you actually get to see me perform live in front of a live audience, and Kevin Hart was also in the audience as well. So this this film, uh, or actually this this deal that came around, it has actually opened me up for a lot of stuff, man. Uh, a great deal of exposure. Uh, I've actually just got through filming a, a TV pilot that I was picked up for just off of this show so there's a lot of projects that are going on you know i'm touring now i'm on uh, i'm on uh team capone i don't know if you know who capone is he's one of the biggest stand-up comedians in the country national headliner and now i'm on his team and i tour with him in every city that he goes and you know just things are happening man a lot of things are happening let's go a bit to your your, your background hey um you're all obviously originally from zimbabwe uh, in, in a few minutes, talk us through your journey, how you left Zimbabwe and uh, went to the States. Okay, okay. Well, it started in 1977 when I was fighting the Chimurenga War. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was born in 1980. I grew up in Mbare with, uh, you know, my grandparents and my mother. Uh, I was raised by a single mother. And uh, we moved to Cranbourne when I was a teenager. Went to Prince Edward High School. Uh, from there, I, I actually worked for, for Zessa for about a year while I was trying to raise funds to come out here. And then, you know... Uh, so, 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 is that where you get your, your energy from? <laughs> Zessa Motom <laughs> That's where I get all my energy from, I guess. I, I was already, uh, 
an energetic fella, you know. Uh, growing up in, in the streets of Mbara, man, you either got to be good with your hands or good with your feet playing soccer or you got to be fast with your mouth. So I guess the mouth saved me a lot of times, you know. So, yeah, and I've been, I've been in the States for 16 years now. And uh, I started my comedy career 10 years ago. Yeah, we, we, we can tell from the accent, hey, you, you, you now sound like an American. No, sir. I still sound like a Zimbabwean who just lives in America. <laughs> but, you, you, you know, I used, I used to sound like this even when I was in, in, in high school. You can go back and ask Mr. Barnes or Mr. Atkinson. They'll tell you, man, I was real smooth, man. No, no, I mean, in, in terms of the transition, uh, you, you move from Zimbabwe to America. You obviously are interested in comedy. Uh, how, how did you fashion uh, a, a way through for yourself um, on the comedy scene in America? Oh, man, it, it, it wasn't easy. Uh, in the beginning, it really wasn't because the one thing that I had to conquer first was fear, my fear, because I didn't know how people were going to respond to my, my comedy. Uh, here I am, an African cat coming out of Africa and trying to do this in a place where there are thousands and thousands of talented comedians. So uh, I had to you know, conquer that first. And once I got past the fear, and I guess that's probably why it took me six years before I got on stage, you know, because I, one thing I needed to do was also learn you know, the humor, the type of humor, what makes people laugh here and, and, and what makes them, you know, g go. So once I learned that, then, you know, I started putting it on paper. Now, I'm telling you, my first show ever, you know, when I got on stage, uh, it was not good. Okay. <laughs> that was 10 years ago. I, I almost bombed, you know. And, and I guess that's what happens to a lot of comedians, man. You go through that process of finding your voice finding your style and and the good thing that I did was you know I kept doing it and over time I got better so it looks like uh, you you haven't quite an experience um uh, Alfred I mean ha have you had time to soak everything in and just absorb what you've accomplished so far you know really I, I really haven't man I really haven't had the time to just sit back because uh, it's it's been so fast-paced you know it's been one thing after the other after we taped that uh, uh, Kevin Hart uh, presents with the Heart of the City, uh, I immediately got on tour with uh, with Capone, and so we've been. And right after that, I had to go to Atlanta to shoot a, a TV show. Uh, so it's just a lot of things that are happening. But uh, you know, once in a while, I just stop back and, and think to myself, "Wow, this this is incredible." When I think about my history, where I'm from, just you know, a kid from Baden, man, you know, and and this this is happening. These are the people that I grew up watching on TV. I'm working with these guys, you know, I'm, I'm working with Michael Collier, you know, uh, Bruce Bruce, you know, superstars in, in the comedy game. And uh, and they just uh, accepted me for, you know, who I am and what I got to offer, you know. How are you connecting with your Zimbabwean roots in terms of, uh, of Zimbabweans? Are they appreciating what, you, what you're doing? Do they know yet um, just exactly what you're accomplishing in the States? My goodness, yeah. The Zimbabwean support is incredible, man, and I, I see it when I go... To different cities you know Zimbabweans come out now man and then they say hey man we've been following you uh, you're pretty funny so it, it's good to, to see that that uh, the, the Zimbabweans who are here they, they appreciate it you know when I do shows in Dallas we got a large Zimbabwean audience uh, or community in Dallas and, and they come out man and which is which is great and when I see it when I go outside you know to Philadelphia California wherever Zimbabweans they come out to support so which is which is good which is very good well, it's been a pleasure uh, chatting to you, Alfred. Uh, before we let you go, uh, surely uh, you could share at least uh, a minute or so. Uh, just one of your funniest jokes. I mean, hit us with one, man. <laughs> man, you had to put me on the spot. One of my funniest jokes. Uh, look, listen, uh, you, they got to go on my YouTube page. I got plenty of stuff right there. I need more views, so... Please go to my YouTube page, which is Alfred Kainga. Uh, I need I need you to go watch my stuff. I need to get some more views. I'm on Facebook, Alfred Kainga. I'm on Instagram, Alfred Kainga. I'm on Twitter, and it's the same name, Alfred Kainga. So please follow me on those things and watch my videos. I got a lot of stuff cooking, and, and I need more views. So bring it. Well, well played there. That was a nice get out of jail card. <laughs> we'll, we'll let that we'll let that one slide, Alfred. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's been
been a pleasure having you, man. Uh, take care, and uh, you know we wish you, um, you know, many more successes to come, man. Thank you, Lance. Thank you so much, man, and I appreciate what you're doing with me on the radio, man. God bless you guys.